हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल सो वेरी फर्स्ट आई गिव यू इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट योर प्रोविजनल आंसर की एंड रिस्पॉन्स शीट येस एंड मेनी ऑफ यू गाइज हैव डाउनलोडेड योर रिस्पॉन्स शीट एंड यू हैव कंपेयर योर रिस्पॉन्स शीट विथ प्रोविजनल आंसर की एंड यू गेव मी योर रिजल्ट येस 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 थैंक यू सो मच फॉर गिविंग मी योर स्कोर कार्ड्स और पर्टिकुलरली आई कैन से योर स्कोर After that, yesterday only I gave you idea about final answer key. Yes, and you might have recalculated your score based on your final answer key as well. And you might have gone across all the dropped questions as well. Yes, 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 yes. And <laughs> today morning only final result of J Mains 2024. was declared now let us discuss about this jee mains 2024 result till now i guess majority of you guys have downloaded this paper particularly i can see your result but if few of the students are left just you can go to this website as of now website is also uh, i can say it is uh, having so much load so you might won't be able to download it as of now but okay so whenever that you can see over here jmens 2024 session 1 btech students can download their score cards you can download with just your application number and date of birth and just take care while entering this captcha this is their praise release note and here they have clearly mentioned that the total registered candidates were 1221624 and total candidates appeared for this examination is 1170048 however they didn't declare that in each shift how many students attempted right so lump sum you can get the idea that 11 lakh if 11 lakh 70000 students given this exam in 10 different shifts so lump sum we can say that in one shift 1 lakh 17000 something students gave the exam right why i am giving you this calculation because based on that you can get a rough idea that how much rank you can get based on the percentile right and they gave this uh, gender wise as well as state wise classification as well right that in each category how many students attempted okay and particularly this is uh, category wise and gender wise as i told you and particularly they gave this that name or application number of students state wise who received 100 nts scores in session session 1 paper 1 right even you can go through that list as well okay now after analyzing results from all the students after analyzing results from majority of the students we prepared one table that table is marks percentile table right so here we are going to discuss about what happened this time for je mains 2024 that is what is the analysis of marks and percentile that how much percentile student got for how many marks marks versus percentile analysis so here for this 10 shifts i have written data for 90 percentile 95 percentile and 99 percentile if i compare this data with 2022 or if i compare this data with 2023 so as compared to 2023 and as compared to 2022 here difference is very more generally if you guys are having easier shifts so in easier shifts with more marks you are getting less percentile and if you are having harder shifts so for harder shifts with less marks you are going to get high percentile and the difference between this high percentile and low percentile will give us idea to examine the difference between level of papers yes level of papers in terms of physics chemistry maths and overall we can say so here if i discuss about 90 percentile 95 percentile and 99 percentile if i give you just a little idea you can see just let us discuss on this 90 percentile criteria first why because in 90 percentile criteria in this criteria students are able to qualify this examination yes that is from 11 lakh students right they are falling in the criteria of 10 percent 1 lakh 10000 remaining students are lying behind them yes so let us discuss about this so if you carefully observe this data understand this carefully students that here 
let me give you this idea based on this here students the very minimum marks less marks 76 marks were obtained in 31st january shift 2 so if a student has obtained seven only 76 marks in this 31st january shift 2 then he or she is able to cross this 90 percentile yes 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 students yes because this paper was almost a first paper right even this paper after that you can see first fab shift one on 76 marks only you are going to get uh, 90 percentile one of the student if yes one of the student even i can see a very close student living uh, two three uh, homes near uh, two three uh, flats nearby my home i can see so she got around 150 marks around 150 understand this carefully and she was she is one of, she is one of the topper students right after giving exam she was telling me that sir i am getting only 156 marks sir uh, how i uh, means she was very dull i can say right but today when result came out we were so shocked and she was so happy because on this 156 she crossed this 99 percentile yes so her marks are around more than 150 and her percentile is 99.01 like that hope you are getting my point so 31st jan 2 when even when i was uh, providing you this paper discussion of 31st january shift to mathematics it was having lengthiest questions i can say yes right your time limit will end but question will not end <laughs> for mathematics i can say right so this was the toughest paper i can say 31st january shift 2 now if we discuss about easiest paper so you can see 27 january shift 1 students 27 january shift 1 139 marks 139 marks that students are getting 90 percentile easiest paper 139 marks 27 january shift 1 easiest paper so see the difference where this 139 and where this 76 see the difference between 139 and 76 very huge difference so this type of huge difference is encountered in j mains uh, history this year only so that's why this marks versus percentile is most shocking percentile for this year so if you got even one of my colleague he told me that his student was so happy that he was scoring around this marks uh, that he was scoring around 120 uh, marks in this shift and he was so happy that sir i will qualify i'll qualify he was one of the average student right and as soon as today result came around 120 he is having uh, around 80 82 percentile like that and he was not happy that after scoring 120 also so generally we were guiding students that if you want to get 90 percentile then your marks should be from 80 to 120 this is what we guide as per previous data right that from 300 marks if your paper is easy get 120 marks if your paper is difficult get 85 marks so if you are scoring 85 to 120 marks you are you are able to get 90 percentile this is from analysis of previous year but if you see this year this 85 is reduced to 76 and this 120 is increased to 139 so if now i need to guide students that if you want to get 90 percentile then in tough paper your mark should be 75 in easy paper your mark should be 140 so in next attempt if you are giving exam and if you are scoring 140 marks then don't assume that at 140 you are going to get 94 percentile or 95 percentile if that is so easy you can get 90 percentile as well let me give you one more shocking reality for this paper for this shift very shocking i can say so this i can see first of all let me write here so this i can say as per the data this shift is considered as easiest and this shift is considered as hardest hope you are getting my point this is easy, difference between easiest and hardest everyone right hope you are getting my point now if i discuss in detail see see students in this easiest also if i go into step by step for 95 percentile so in 27 january shift 2 if you are getting 150 marks your percentile are 95 but here if you are getting 150 marks your percentile are 99 
so now we cannot predict percentile based on your marks right here also at 143 you are getting 95 percentile right and here at simply 150 you are getting 99 percentile hope you are getting my point please give me some response so this is the difference between easiest and hardest now if we go in step by step the very hardest chapter was uh, paper was 31st january shift 2 after that second hardest first feb shift 1 and after that third hardest first feb shift 2 right now one of my previous student who scored 97 percentile last year and he is studying in jadhopur university this year he gave this examination this year again for the sake of giving exam that's all i want to give exam he today morning called me and told me that sir i am getting 98 percentile in first feb shift 2 his marks were around 140 at 140 he got 98 percentile students right and th this is not believable frankly speaking right at 140 he got 98 percentile in this shift right even i was shocked then when we collected this data and we analyzed so we got this right so whatever marks you are getting and with that marks you are having different percentile then don't worry it happens right it happens in je mains examination so this is third hardest after that you can see this is fourth hardest fifth hardest so initially i can say initial papers were easy then remaining papers were hard right so and this was the easiest paper generally uh, if i observe trend of j initial paper they are keeping very easy only right okay but this much easy is like <laughs> right this was the, means this difference never came right okay so now you will ask me sir what to do so very first students you comment your scores and percentile right you comment your scores and percentile to us very first give us this data that we want your scores and percentile data right so that you can comment second thing you can share your result with us whatever result you have gained whether you have fulfilled your criteria of 90 percentile for j advance or whether you are getting 95 99 percentile if you have attended our marathon sessions if you have attended our paper discussion sessions and if you are feeling that yes sir we got benefited from your all marathon sessions and paper discussion sessions so this is time to celebrate your result with us yes even if you have got low, less than 90 percentile then also so we will send one form link with this video just send your result with us we will analyze your results and based on that analysis i will give you idea that how to prepare for upcoming exams yes because this is not the end this is new beginning and based on your data again i am telling you i'll guide you based on your data only so for that data is required so please send us your data based on this data we will guide you that how to attempt april shift or april session 2024 or how to attempt different examination as well like you are having bit set you are having j advance you are having vit triple e for all the different type of exams srm manipal we will guide you this is not the end this is just beginning so for that we require your data please send us your data everyone so thank you thank you so much and we will meet again in the next video till then keep learning don't lose hope bye everyone